Apache Nation, it is 44 degrees right here in Franklin, Tennessee. You see right here, there's the little weather app. 44 degrees, corroborating, corrobor cor corroborating my story. Yeah, that word said correctly. <laughs> so I am running a test, two tests actually. One test is slightly insane, but the other test is perfectly fine. The first test is the Indy Ridge Golden Gloves. 44 degrees. I don't have a liner. I just have the glove on. So I want to see what it feels like running down the road, running down the interstate, doing 70 miles an hour. Right now it feels great. It doesn't, my fingers don't even feel cold. And the other test that I told you guys is slightly insane. I'm wearing my brand new Indy Ridge, the Wingman Collection, the Crossfields. They are the ventilated boot. <laughs> This is not a winter boot, but I wanted to see how ventilated they actually are. And if it just freezes my foot off, because you know, this is a summer boot. This is not necessarily a boot to be riding around in the winter, but my Mohawk boots are the boots that I should probably be riding in the winter. But these guys right here, you see. So speaking of brother, I met a couple at Bouchon Harley Davidson a few days ago, and they told me that when they watch my videos, sometimes they play a little game and the game that they it's a drinking game apparently which <laughs> you know i thought it was hysterical Woo! here we go getting on the interstate from a guy that really doesn't drink that someone uses my videos for a drinking game <laughs> the irony and so i said so what's this drinking game and they said well so when you laugh we take a shot so anytime i laugh they take a shot any time that I say the word brother, they take either two one-out shots or they take one two-out shot. <laughs> I said, well, I know that I pretty much laugh a lot in my videos, so I can't imagine how many shots you're taking. And I probably only say brother maybe two or three times, and they told me there was one video that I said it four times in, and they said they were hammered after that video. I'm not lost on the irony of that. <laughs> a drinking game. Watching a guy's video that doesn't even drink. So there you go. And if you're playing the game right now, I have laughed a lot. <laughs> now you're on the floor. You're welcome. <laughs> Woo, these are doing pretty good. I've got a little cold air right now coming in this slit. I should have zipped my jacket up a little more. But right now, the gloves, they feel great. My fingers aren't cold. And I'll tell you this, let me turn these boots sideways. Man, that's not terribly cold. I mean, I can, I can actually feel the cold air coming in the boot, but it's not terrible. Which just lets me know that this probably has just the right amount of ventilation. So give me about two or three days and it'll be 90 degrees here in Franklin because that's how the weather is in Tennessee. And then I'll, I'll give you an update on my battery died while I was on the interstate. I was just about to go into a conversation with you guys and I heard deet, 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 as I was getting off the interstate and I thought, well, I'll just pick it back up and I'll put in a new battery when I get to my destination. Well, I got to my destination and I realized I didn't have any batteries in my pocket and I did not have my vlogging camera, which is this camera right here. So the next thing I was going to talk to you guys about was the 2023 Harley Davidsons. Every single time there is a new year of Harley Davidsons come out, Harley comes out with whatever their lineup is, the changes they make, whether it be bikes, introducing new bikes, whether they're making whether they are making changes to existing bikes, uh, colors, and I hear a lot of positive feedback from people, but then I hear a lot of negative feedback from people. So let me ask you guys, what do you want from Harley Davidson? What do you want in the 2023 lineup from Harley Davidson? Are you guys cool with just colors? Uh, new colors being brought into the mix? What about bringing back old colors? I think that would be pretty cool. There's some old colors from Harley Davidson that you guys know I'm a huge fan of blue and if they brought back that, I don't remember exactly which blue it was, but that all blue bike, and I want to say, and somebody put it down in the comments, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, 
but somewhere around maybe 2016 or 2018 the road glides and the street glides they had that all blue royal blue looking color and i thought that looked good um i know uh, my buddy Mark, who is uh, traveling the country RVing, who is a member of uh, the Moonshine chapter here, he has a Roguelite, and it's either a, a 2016 or something like that, and it's that all blue color, and it is phenomenal looking. But I ask you guys, what about a new bike? Do you want to see things like... Um, uh, a new bike introduced into the mix. Do you want to see uh, the Sportster S? Do you want to see new colors in it? What about the ST line? Do you want to see new colors in the ST line? Do you want to see new bikes in the ST line? That'd be pretty cool if they came out with something big. You know how sometimes Harley does a little bitty drop. Hey, here's this. And then, oh, by the way, bam, we got something big we want to tell you about like, like a month or two later. Let's just say it was something like that. Do you want to see, hey, we're introducing a new Sportster ST or a Road King ST or uh, something crazy like that um, or a Freewheeler ST. <laughs> That'd be real crazy. But, hey, I promise you some people would buy it. What are, what are your guys' thoughts? What do you want to see from Harley-Davidson in 2023? You guys tell me. What would make you trade your existing bike in or say, hey, I have to add another Harley Davidson to my lineup because in 2023, Harley Davidson did this. They added this to their lineup. If it's, if it's just colors, what type of color would you like to see? What's a crazy color? If you're out there and you're a crazy color, and I, and I say, when I say crazy color, um, with cars and motorcycles in general, I feel like they try to stay with mainstay colors and then they bring in something cool like that snake bite venom. That was a, a color that uh, as you walked around the bike and as the sun hit it, it kind of changed colors a little bit. It, it was a little greenish. It was a little purplish. It had some um, some kind of reddish pink hues in it which i thought all of that stuff when i first saw that on the website i thought okay that's a cool that's a cool looking color but when i saw one of those bikes in person i was like oh wow in the sun man are you kidding me that was a really cool bike as you walked around that bike same thing with uh, what's the one the the, the white this the uh, uh the white sand pearl the when the white sand pearl came out you know i remember in that video that Rob and I did from Moonshine Harley Davidson, on the day that we that that that, that white sand pearl came off the truck, it was a cloudy day. So we saw this cream color looking white Harley Davidson roll off the truck. And we both said, Man, that's a pretty good solid looking color. Well, then the very next day, Rob calls me and he said, Brian, you have got to get up here and see this white sand pearl in the sunlight. Oh my gosh. I get off the phone with Rob and I rush up there and I look at it and I put that in the video. That white sand pearl in the sun looked like a totally different bike. So that's my question to you guys. What is it that you want to see from Harley Davidson in the 20, 2023 motorcycle lineup? What's your favorite thing? I know that there were a lot of folks that were upset about the hydraulic clutch going away and going back to a cable clutch. To me, I mean, I like the cable clutch better. I do a lot of slow speed drills, so to me, it was much easier for me to grab a friction zone with a cable clutch than it is with a hydraulic clutch. I like the cable clutch. There's a few people that, that are probably going, oh man, right now, brother, are you kidding me? You know, that's why they, we have all the, the, the colors that we have on bikes. That's why we have all the styles that we have on bikes because some people like certain colors. Some people like certain styles. Some people like certain models. What say you, OMG Nation? Let me know down in the comments. What do you want to see in 2023 from Harley-Davidson and their new lineup? I appreciate you watching today's episode. If you have not already, please click the like button. I promise you, it helps out the channel more than you'll ever know. And if you are not subscribed, 
please subscribe to the channel and become a part of the OMG Nation. Like I always say, keep it old school. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, this is recorded, by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.